What up, y'all? We're back at chapter six, and it looks like Jacob is actually alive. So, Emma! Oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus! Fuck! Oh, man. God, this night sucks ass. Emma, is that you? Look at this man's back. <laughs> He's been through it. Any cards around here? I would be very cautious. Me personally, of walking on this barefoot, especially if it being more far off this outside for this long, might be splitting and all that stuff, splinters and all. I don't want to deal with splinters. Splinters suck. Jill. Fucking hell. Blueprint? <sighs> Hit a crow. I must mean a card must be nearby. Somewhere, please. car from a broken and dirty camera lost in the woods oh. maybe there's something on here I don't know exactly where that crow is calling at but back there but I mean it is what it is if we can't find a card whatever oh there it is we got it justice justice an eye for an eye not exactly in some cases but cause and effect actions and consequences consequences there is a balance to everything and we all play a part in making sure the scales aren't tipped Another one? Emma should have said something. Eh, whatever. Oh my like, god, no way. Am I glad to see you? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Ugh. I mean, I don't me blame back her. There, you asshole. I don't blame her at all. Emma, come on. What the fuck is going on? Look, I don't know, okay? Some, like, bear attacked Nick and Abby back there. Yeah, me too, but it definitely was not a bear. What? Who? When? Why? Sorry, I'm just... I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, barely. I mean, the thing that attacked me at the treehouse was like... What? It was like what, Emma? Like, out of a horror movie. Okay, um... Well, it, it was probably just like a, a bear trying to defend itself, you oh, know? Oh, don't be a dick! You, you know it wasn't a 
fucking bear. Well, you're right. You're right. And now we have these fucking the, the hunters running all over the place. So that's a fun new wrinkle. What? Look, don't ask. Okay, we've got to get out of these woods. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> you know, Jacob, you don't have to be a dick about literally everything. I mean, you're one to talk, considering... No, I'm not going to get into it. Um... We defense. Hey, I'm trying to keep us alive. I've been doing pretty good by myself. What? I don't need you to rescue me. I'm not going to suddenly fall in love with you just because you're my knight in shining armor. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if you set this all up. Oh my god, what?! Run! The stupid thing to say. Man just left her again. Y'all both be shit. Um, I'm going to hide. Yeah. I didn't usually. Does that. It's a big head, so. Or a hog head, I mean. Oh, that's bear traps. Um, man, if we pull it free, this is gonna rip a lot of tendons on our legs. I mean, prying open, we're probably not gonna be able to do it because those things are like, those things are meant to keep bears trapped. And yeah, we could try. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, shit. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh. No! Ah. 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 Look, you could. Ah. Oh, it's that old dude. It's the woman, okay. Who the heck is that, though? Is she like one of those hunter dudes? I don't think so. Passionate. You okay? I don't know who that other girl was. I've never seen her before. Me neither. But her? Yeah. That's Kaylee Hackett. Mr. It's H's the daughter. daughter. I thought she went home with her brother. Kaylee. Yeah. I thought so too. Oh man, poor Kaylee. Nick, you smell so good. This man is transforming. Oh hell no. You all right there, bud? Maybe dial it back a bit, huh? Fuck off, Caitlin. Whoa. Dude, is this guy's transforming? Nick, what are you? 
taste you. Hey. Come here, huh? Ugh, Nick, what the hell? Ugh, get off! Ugh, watch out! I said get off! Who fucking wanted to eat her or bite her or whatever? Hey, hey, it's okay. I'm okay. I got you. I got you. What did I do? I, I don't know. He's so cold. Okay, let's get him in the pool house. Dry him off. Try to rest. I'm sorry. Ah! Quit moving ah. so much. It's pretty clean from what I could tell. I mean, it's not bleeding. But you need to see a doctor. Look, this is all I've got left from the nurse's station. Ooh, fun. You better hope uh, we find you some real help before they wear off. We need to be keeping a record of everything that happens for the police. Yeah, dead girl in the pool needs some explaining, huh? <sighs> Easy, man. I mean, like photos, whatever we can. Yeah, I've got a funny feeling that the cops are not going to want to believe any of this crazy shit unless we've got some hard proof. From now on, if you got your phone and you see something, take a photo or a video or whatever. Yeah. You okay over there, Abby? Look, why don't you look around and see if you can find anything to help make Nick more comfortable? Okay, so... I guess we gotta try to find a towel or something. Nothing but a shower. another card the moon the moon how poignant the night of all nights to harness your fear and anxiety and turn them into intuition you can do this and plan ahead your cunning might just save your life okay. this is just showers Did she draw that? Twelve hours ago. Among the miscellany of these forgotten belongings is a scribbled drawing of a woman in the woods. Those ghost stories seem to have really left a mark. It must be one of the kids that drew the X instead. <laughs> that that's all, it's all over here. Just that. more showers though over here right or just bathrooms or toilets I mean nothing really in these stalls here that better thanks hey Anything over here? Oh, there is. I wonder where Caleb is. 
A recent piece of camp history, a younger Ryan enjoying his time at camp with Chris Hackett's kids, Caleb and Kaylee. Kaylee's dead. Yo, something is not right with that boy. Dude is real sick. Did you see how he freaked out in the water? Yeah, he was like, uh, he was like a fish out of water, right? Uh, sure. You know, something was weird when I tried to clean his wounds, too, at the lodge. What do you mean? Well, all of his clothes were bloody, but I couldn't find where he was bit or scratched or whatever. He just kept moving around like he didn't want me to see how badly he was hurt. Huh. Mm, rabies? He's not frothing in the mouth. <sighs> I think Abby would beg to differ. Point. Yeah, isn't aquaphobia a symptom of rabies? Hydrophobia, yeah. But I think it's more about a fear of drinking, not just getting wet. This was like... Like my cat in the bathtub. <laughs> yeah. Abby. Yeah? Can I ask you something? Of course. Like me. I don't think this is the time for the asking that question, dude. But I'm gonna keep him trying to keep him calm. Nick. And not have him attack me or anything like that. Please just tell me. I've really enjoyed spending time with you this summer. It's such a oh, such a, such what? I mean, he's not wrong, as it is. Abby? But... Uh, what? I've got something to ask you. Uh, yeah. Okay. Why don't you like me, Abby? You know what? After what happened early on, I don't think Abby likes the dude anymore, obviously. He's kind of fearful of the dude. What dude, apprehensive? Nick, you're different. No, no. Just Nick. Good old big dick Nick. What? What? The hell? <sighs> Sick, Abby. Why don't you care about me? Big I do. Dick I, Nick. I, <laughs> I, You're not really very smart, are you? Poor stupid Abby. Stop. Easy pickings. Right off the bone. This isn't you. I mean, this this isn't you. I <gasps> Oh, Abby. Piece of loose paper. What Abby, the hell? Okay. Holy shit. Oh man. <laughs> Crap. Shit. Ah, uh, hell yeah, I gotta shoot this guy. I think you would have killed him. Or any of them in that room. Dude. 
Qu'est-ce que ça veut If I were a counselor at an off-season camp, partying around a bonfire, and it started to rain, and there were monsters, I would go to the lodge. Yeah. Okay. Only one left. Anything over here? Hmm. Ryan's stories again. I had no idea kids were getting freaked out about this stuff. We officially suck as counselors. Kids letter home. Camper that wrote this must have had a change of heart and decided not to send this letter home. Those stories are only stories after all. This letter matches the drawing in the pool house, but why was it torn up? Oh, yeah, yeah, because it's... Oh, okay. Maybe it's, there's something to this ghost story. I'm going to probably go here. I don't hear a crow, so that must mean that there's no cards around. Oh, we take a certain path and we might miss one. Damn. There's only his head's missing, so we saw a head when playing as Jacob that was on a pike. Hmm. I see it up there. I saw two. That's another one. That's further up. Two pathways. Oh, there's one right here. I don't think it's a pathway actually. It's blocked. Come on! 
I've never done this before, Pop. Let's do it fast. That's it. Is that Ryan or someone else? <laughs> I, think, I think that is Ryan. Oh no. She bit. I can't tell if she was bit or not. That firecracker saved Caitlin! us. Caitlin! Ryan! Abby! Why did you close the door? This doesn't feel safe. Dead people don't usually jump out of windows and run into the forest. I mean, he did what you had to do, honestly. The dude was about to kill you and all of us. All Abby, of them. He was gonna hurt you. You were defending yourself. I, I don't. I don't know that for sure. I do. He threw you across the room, <laughs> dude. No. It was you or him. And, well, that definitely wasn't him. Man, this is so fucked. Oh, hey! Oh, shit. Where the fuck is Chris Hackett? Is that that woman that was running with the eye patch? Who's there? I need your help. Please. Who are you? My name is Laura Kearney. So? Go let me in. It's not Laura. safe out here. Uh, yeah, there's a crazy woman with a gun killing people. I'm not killing people. Holy shit, you... Laura Kearney? You're Laura Kearney? Yes? You were supposed to be working, uh, helping out in the nurse's office, right? And you never showed up? Uh, you and the guy, what's his name? Max. Max? Yes, yep. Max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. Hackett said that you had changed your mind last minute. I, I think that we should, I think that we should listen to her inside. Um, I think we should trust her. I don't think she's going to do anything. Hopefully. Okay. Hopefully not. I'm going to open the door slowly. Just keep your hands up. Okay. Okay. Here we are again. Just you and me. <laughs> Why don't we take another look at what you've found? Justice. An eye for an eye. Not exactly in some cases, but cause and effect. Actions and consequences. There's a balance to everything, and we all play a part in making sure the scales aren't 
tipped. The moon, how poignant. Tonight of all nights, to harness your fear and anxiety and turn them into intuition. If you can do this and plan ahead, your cunning might just save your life. Now tell me, would you like to delve deeper into one of many possible futures? Uh, yeah. Make your choice. I don't want to see the moon. See what happens with that? Oh, stab them. Something. Off you go then. Top top. One down. Remember, it's not terribly exciting. So, uh, why didn't you come? Where have you been for the past two months? We did come. One night early. That was our mistake. We're having flashbacks, okay. This is June 25th. Transforming as well. You goddamn kids. That cop again. What have you done to Max? Shut up. You can't just- Shut up! This is an interrogation. I ask, you answer. <clears throat> Name. Um... I'm gonna be compliant. Laura Kearney. Who are you traveling with? And what is your relationship? Max Brindley, he's my boyfriend. Where were you headed last night? To Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. You already know this. What have you done with Max? No. I ask, you answer. That's how this works. So you being compliant. Fine. What do you want to know? Oh. Well. I didn't expect that. Uh, why are we going to hack his quarry last night? Max and I are camp counselors. Oh, bullshit. Counselors aren't due until today. I told you, we drove up and got there early. We figured we'd just go to camp. Why didn't you go to the motel like I told you? Because we were like... 
way closer to the camp, and we're broke. Mm -hmm. Fair of North Gill, North Gill County. So the county's named after North Gill, so it's only a family run county. Hmm. Okay, hey, Sheriff. Okay, Sheriff. Hackett. Wait, Hackett? Like, Chris Hackett? Don't change the subject. What the fuck is going on here, man? You have no idea what's going on here. Not a Ladies goddamn clue. Hackett's. You just stepped in some grade A double prime, go ahead and kill yourself cosmic type shit, young lady. And your only option is to buckle the fuck up and do what I say. Do you understand? And I'm fucking around. <laughs> Please, will you just stop fucking around with me and tell me what the fuck is going on? What the hell attacked us last night and why did you arrest us, you goddamn maniac? Take me to Max! Right Appreciate now! It. I think he's gonna take us back to the jail cell. What? No, I'm not going to lash out. I'm just going to let him do his thing. Let's go. Hey. Hey, you asshole. You want to tell us what the fuck's going on? Max! I know you hear me. Yeah. I mean, I'm... I'm kind of all mixed up, but... More or less intact, I think. Laura? Yeah? Why am I naked? Well, I'm only gonna last for like a what? night until morning. I mean, after we got attacked... The next thing I know, I'm waking up in a jail cell, and you're gone, and now you're back again, and, and, and I'm super naked, and there's blood, and... Stuff everywhere. I mean, what the fuck happened? He wanted me to confess. Yeah, so our host was very keen on getting me to confess, but I honestly couldn't tell you what I was meant to be owning up to. Jesus. What he used to try to get you to talk? The pincher, the blade? Three hole punch? No, it. He wasn't torturing me. Who does this guy think he is? Well, Sheriff of North Kill, apparently. North Kill? Yeah. Max! What? Did you even look at the map? Hackett's Quarry in North Kill. That's the town. Oh. And it gets better. I gotta look at his name badge and... Get dressed. What's he giving you? I'm not gonna be the guest of honor at Bastion Week, I'll tell you that much. Hey! Did I say you could talk to each other? I'm not gonna be able to stop him from talking to each other, dude. Um. Sarcastic. I wasn't aware we needed your permission, Detective Dick Whippet. <laughs> yeah, it's a free country, Officer Oat. For brains. Shit. All right, buddy. Hands through the bars. Come on. Let's 
looks like uh, he could be Your turn. drawn as a Let's type of girl in The I'm Simpsons, where he's right like here. moving Come his on. mouth. Hey, hey! Let's get the fuck off! Come on, move. Good boy. Good boy. Hey, stop struggling. Just relax. Max, calm down. You're only making it worse. Laura. What the hell did you do to her? Shut up. There's gotta be something in here you can use. Okay, so... While the town of North Kill lay there sleeping, the hag in the woods started weeping. As the bodies decay, the wolves hunt their prey, and the sheriff continues his creeping. Hmm. <laughs> And then there's a bed. What is this over here? What's this? Do we use that as a weapon? Not a chance. I need some sort of lever. Here then. Oh, that a spoon? That could work. God. Oh, yeah, this ought to do it. Ah, yes. I guess we could use that as a hiding spot or something. I don't know. It, man, I bruise easily. Give me a break. I bruise easily. Hey, the second we get out of here, you're toast, motherfucker. Sure. Second you get out. Um. What's that supposed to mean? fuck is that supposed to mean? <laughs> hey! What the fuck is that supposed to mean, asshole? Hey, you can't just leave us in here! Hey! Come back! Fuck! Son of a binky bonky. Binky Bonky? Oh my. Binky Bonky. <laughs> Binky Bonky. How'd it go in there? You sing like a canary? Nothing to sing about. I'm sure you've got plenty to confess. <laughs> well, that may be true, but I don't think he's too interested in how I cheated off Mikey Washington in eighth grade chem. Really, though, what happened? He, uh, he just asked a lot of questions. A lot of weirdly specific questions about us and where we were going and why and how I was feeling this morning. And I don't know. Nothing I said made him seem any less annoyed. He asked how you were feeling? Yeah. Why, he didn't ask you? No. Huh. Rude. Oh, 
Oh, hey, did you get a look at his name badge? You mean it's not really Detective Dick Whippet? It's Hackett. Sheriff Hackett. You think he's related to Chris Hackett? Oh my god, like THE Chris Hackett? Yeah. Who's THE Chris Hackett? As in camp leader Mr. Hackett of Hackett's Quarry, remember? Man. Last night feels like a lifetime ago. The fuck does that mean, though? You know? Where we set up? Maybe it's some kind of crazy camp counselor kidnapping ring. Well, that's... I mean... What? Hmm. It's not acting like a kidnapper. Oh, or it's just some kind of setup. I do suspicious. I like am suspicious. Some kind of setup. A, a, a trap. I don't know. Chris Hackett and Sheriff Hackett? There's no way that's a coincidence. Okay. They must be related. Well, what does that prove? They knew we were coming. Maybe it's... some kind of kidnapping, extortion... conspiracy. That's a pretty big job. I'm just trying to get us out of here, and I can't get us out of here until I have some clue of why the fuck we're in here. I don't know, what if we can't make sense of it? What? Well, we have to. Sometimes things just don't make sense. What then? We're just stuck in a backwater jail cell for the rest of our lives? I mean, I want to be encouraging. I sure this is not forever. This so. isn't forever, Max. Obviously, it's not because we you see her. You can't just hold us here now. forever. You didn't seem too convinced of that. You gotta stay positive. You can't think like that. Why not? Might as well just accept it, right? No, fuck that. Think about the rest of the summer, Max. And school? I mean, I've been dreaming about becoming a vet since I was five years old. I'm not gonna let this fleabag fuckface stop me. We're gonna get out of here. I'm gonna study to be a vet, and you're... He gonna, got rejected. Um, from this college they wanted to go what? to. I saw the letter, Max. Hmm? What are you talking about? The rejection letter for college. I found it in your bag. You were poking around in my stuff? I can't believe you didn't tell me. I, I was embarrassed. Your grades were good, and you wrote a great essay? Yeah, apparently not good enough. Fuck! You've been making plans, Max, what the fuck? I don't know, what do you want me to say? Um... I'd be empathetic, because he's been through a lot, as is, so... I'm sorry, Max, this... This really sucks. Hey, it's not the worst thing to happen this summer. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have kept it from you. You know you can talk to me about anything, right? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Okay, let's just... Focus on getting out of here, for now. Great. Sign me up. We need to go over it from the beginning. Like from when we left home? Like from when we ran into the cop. So after we ran into the... Whatever we ran into? Yeah. Actually... Yeah, that's when shit started getting weird. The dude acted super weird when we said we almost hit an animal, you remember that? It was like he already knew or something. Yeah. Yeah, that was really sketchy. What if he's not even a real cop? Well, he's gotta be dirty, but... I mean, I think he's a real cop. 
We're in a police station. I mean, yeah, but there's like nobody else around. That's true. Yeah, that is concerning. Especially the whole hack it hack it thing. Let's just go with the idea that they're both in on it. Okay. So we're supposed to meet Chris Hackett at the camp, and instead, there's nobody there, and we get attacked by something, and then the cop shows up. That part's all fuzzy for me. Like, I remember the steps and a smell like wet fur and a, a dog collar with the name Ian on it. Ian? Ian. I don't think it was a dog that attacked us. Whatever it was, was big. Like, person-sized big. Yeah, it really did a number on you. Like, I'm surprised you're not more messed up. Like, like, like I vividly remember the thing's teeth ripping into you. What is messed up about that is... Laura, I don't have a scratch on me. What? Hey, okay, so weird question. Do you remember... before we got lost? You got lost? Well, yeah, but before that, I was all like, whoa, look at the moon. It's so big, so cool to see a full moon in the middle of the woods, and you were all like, yeah, no shit, Max, it happens once a month? Yeah, so? Right, so, you know, full moon. Yeah? What if, uh... Okay, no, stop. I'm just saying, you know, maybe there's a slight chance it was a werewolf. Mm-hmm. Are you out of your goddamn mind? <sighs> Werewolves? Seriously? What the fuck? What? What? what what's so funny? I said literally the exact same thing. Okay. Do you, you got anything better? I mean, like, zombies, aliens, time-hopping Draculas? Dude. Ryan, right, come on. Right? You listen yeah. to these podcasts, dude. You want answers? I've got answers. Interrupt me again, you're on your own. I, I would have I would have thought you would have been more into this stuff. Whatever. Even though yes at first. Would it really it sounds be like so crazy. crazy? With all the shit yeah, that we've been exactly. seeing with Nick? With the thing on the roof? Okay, it would really start to explain a lot of stuff. Dylan. I'm just trying to keep an open mind, okay? This is like your ghost stories. How is exactly. this so different from your ghost those, stories? Those are, those are just campfire stories. Like, there has to be a rational explanation for everything, for all of this. Ryan, come on, dude. Okay, you were not talking so rational when you separated my hand from the rest of my body. You told me to. And if it's bite with which you're faced, cleave limb from torso with great haste. What? You did the right thing. See? She's got a whole poem about it. There's more to all this than you think. Just let me finish, and you can decide for yourself if you believe me or not. I don't care. But I think you should hear all of it. The next few weeks were long. The cop kept us fed and let us take showers, but aside from that, we barely saw him. Max and I, we talked a lot, as much as we could about what happened that night. It was like trading conspiracy theories. We talked about the cop, the camp, the accident, the woods, the thing in the basement, what happened to Max, we just kept going over it all again and again, and nothing was making sense. All we knew is that we needed to get out of there. I can't take this anymore. It's not that bad. They're probably in the same crap at camp. No, I can't take being in here anymore. Oh. Yeah, well, that part's pretty tough. We've got to <laughs> do something. Max. We've got to get out of here. We need a, a plan. We keep saying that, but it's been weeks, so, you know, let me know if you have one. 
That's really not very helpful, Max. You are forgetting something. What? Just the ETBT tiny detail that I may or may not be a fucking werewolf, you Laura. Just keep it down. So what? What can we do, really? We run off into the sunset only to be stopped when I turn into a nasty ass monster and kill you and eat you, and then I run off alone into the sunset with little bits of you stuck in my teeth? Okay, okay, stop. Just one problem at a time. All right, we, we don't even know if that's what's really going on, and we won't until we get the hell out of here. Okay. Well, it seems to me that we only have two real options. We can play nice and try to get this guy on our side. What, so he'll let us go? Or... We try to catch him off guard and make our escape. What if we get on his good side? I don't want to like hurt the dude. Okay, you know? so He's been kinda... let's say we get on his good side. He's been side. keeping us here for what weeks, then? so Brunch and we're not dead. Every Sunday till he sees the error of his ways. Yeah, I was being rhetorical. The dude doesn't have a good side to get on. I mean, he don't even talk to us half the time. I don't know. I think we could crack him. Laura, I think he's just biding his time until he can figure out a way to get rid of us permanently. Well, I don't know, like we could try to, you know, be on his good side, but at the same time, we still got to escape. So we do, we do resign. <sighs> You're right. Escape's the only way. Hey, what's he going to do to us? That's any worse if we get caught, right? Let's just not get caught. Deal? Yeah. Deal. Okay. Here's how it's gonna go down. Next time he opens your cell to take you to get washed up, you jump him. You tackle him down and take the keys from his belt, drag him into your cell, lock him in there, unlock my cell, and then we'll steal his car and just drive right the fuck out of Dodge. Right, okay, that's not really a plan though, you know? That's just kind of saying let's escape, but with a whole lot more words. No, he won't be expecting it. We're in a routine now, we'll catch him in the back foot. Careful, really? Careful. Ah, ah, ah. Wait, that was your plan? I mean, I didn't think he was gonna do like that. Okay, Sheriff doesn't trust me. Fuck. Genius. I think he's gonna try something different. Well, what about my like shower? Shit. Oh, shit. I said. Take your fucking clothes off! Fuck off! Get back! Max, what's going on? <laughs> Get the fuck away from him! Come here. Get off of me! Shut up. Have a seat. Stop! Quit squirming. Said you want to be a vet, right? Call us an internship. Let me go! You're not gonna believe it until you see it for yourself. Just fucking ask next time then, dude. Jeez. Don't get too close. G, come in. What's your position? Over. Shit. Mm-hmm. Just wrapping things up here. Oh, I'm not gonna call for help. I don't want him to do anything crazy on me. Down to 20. Over. 
What's gonna happen? Well, I'll tell you, it's not gonna be pretty. But don't worry, I'll be back at dawn. You're really gonna leave me here? You'll be fine. Just don't get too close. Man, going transform again. What's your feeling? Max, tell me exactly what you're feeling. Laura, I... I don't feel so good. Not good like how? I don't know, just... Bad. Come closer, let me see your eyes. I think I better stay back. Max, I need to observe you. Is this fucking close enough for you, bitch? Wow, dude. Max? Max? Tell me what's going on. Max. Look at his teeth. Max. Oh my god. Fuck! So much for depth perception. Let's see what that bastard cop's hiding. All right, I ain't gonna go down there. I already got lost one of my eyes, so. She's so calm after that happened. Maybe it's she. I don't know how much time has passed since then, but still. You hear a crow also. The chariot. Chariot. At the reins of a chariot, we will all feel safer, taking control, relying on determination to make our choices. Valiant, but in some cases, foolish. Many seek refuge in chariots, but perhaps in some cases they're not as safe as we think they are. Okay. I would bet these doors are locked. Yep. Locked. Figures? But I guess I can't leave Max. Better keep snooping, or I could go back to my cell and wait, I guess.
Alright, go upstairs then. Fuck. I'm gonna need to rest soon. Yeah, there's no one in this precinct. Station, I mean. Ha. Mama's boy. 56. That means he was born in 1965. Mm. Nothing in here but that birthday card. This can't be doing too well. Charge Sheriff's Badge. The old Sheriff Badge is badly fire damaged. Does it belong to the current Sheriff or one of his predecessors? Just a badge? I guess so. Get a calendar over there. July 7th? Oh, that, Dad's birthday. I need to lie down. Mmm. Syringes. This must be what he used to knock me out. can hide this in my cell. So now we can use put the syringes in that brick area, that hole in the wall, hide it. Check over here just in case before I go back to the cell. What are you hiding, Travis? This letter. I meant to click it, but whatever. All right, I think we're good. To just let me. Well, let me hide it first. I didn't take it out. That would 
suck so much. Go to sleep. You want to tell me what happened? I could ask you the same thing. Why didn't you run? They're both good choices because yeah, obviously we don't want to leave Max, but we also got unfinished business. Business, so we've got unfinished business. Like what? Like how you're gonna tell me exactly just what the fuck is really going on here. Why would I do that? Because I could be halfway home by now. But I'm not. Because I have to help Max. Well, she says it anyway, so okay. Maybe I can help you too. Turn around, hands against the wall. Seriously? I am too tired to argue. Me too. Happy? I'll brew some coffee. All right, we get somewhere. What's this? An education. Watch. <laughs> nice job cleaning up. The eye. I mean, it's harder than they make out in the textbooks, especially when nobody's helping you. You're the doctor. Uh, animal doctor. And no, I'm not. And I probably never will be stuck in here forever. You know. Just because you know, doesn't mean you know. You know? Uh. What? <laughs> what? I'm not. This isn't what it seems to be. You're gonna have to be more specific. You and Max are in just as much trouble as I am. My family, we didn't mean to hurt anybody. We're just trying to survive like everybody else. Do you understand? Not really. We're going to end this thing once and for all. We? Yeah. How's the family involved, though? So, how is your family involved? My family is down at the bottom of a well. What? Family is the most important thing in the world. But if your whole family, you know, like, Every last one of them decided to jump down the bottom of a well, and they're all just hanging on the end of a rope. 
How can one person be expected to pull them all back out? You can't. So you pull on that rope and you're just gonna fall right down to the bottom of the well with the rest of them. And what's the point of that? Right, so you... You're the one at the top of the well with a rope and... Yes. I thought that was obvious. Yeah, okay, yeah, I got it. Just forget it. Let's see how smart you really are. What is this? Information. Well, what does it mean? Read it. When full the moon above shines first, the beast internal shall outward burst. One by one leads lambs to slaughter. It stalks your breath, but shuns clear water. And should you yourself be cursed, armed with silver and the first, when moon is full before its wane, rend the beast that cursed you slain. No longer shall you face your blight or fear the dread of full moon's light. Yeah. Keep reading. No, I'm not gonna take his gun. I want him to trust me. And if it's a bite with which you're faced, cleave limb from torso with great haste. Yeah, this is how she's Perchance out you'll about save your cursed soul stuff. before infection takes its toll. Starting to get the picture. It's not a lot to go on. And frankly, it's shit. Why did they have to make it rhyme? I don't know. But it's all we have to go on. Kill the werewolf that bit you and you'll be cured. It has to be silver, it has to be full moon. Seems pretty straightforward to me. If you can kill the werewolf, and that's a big if. I just want to cure Max. It's not as straightforward as you think. Hmm. Um. I think you could kill it. If you knew all this, why didn't you just kill it in the storm shelter when you had the chance? It's not so, I, mean, I, I was, when I- Straightforward? No, yeah, it's so not, you... they're not so easy to hit. I was trying to protect you too. I don't believe him. You're not telling us everything. I'm telling you everything you need to know. I don't believe you. What if killing ain't an option? What if you had to use science? Use science. Just like that. Here. Oh, genius. Wait, I'll set an 80s montage going. I'm serious. You're protecting someone or you're desperate? I think it's both. Kind of leaning towards he's protecting someone possibly. Why is killing not an option? I think you're protecting someone. Look, take some time to think about all this. I'll be back in the morning. Seen enough? I don't think I'd believe a word he just said if I hadn't... If I hadn't seen that. Hmm. 
Not sure. I don't want to believe him, but I don't have a better explanation. I'm just not sure. It's, it just doesn't add up. Hey, who knew we get to star in our very own terrible horror movie? Well, speak for yourself. I think I am pretty well cast. Well, fuck him. He's had his chance to fix this. We're getting out of here and we're gonna fix it on our own. Hey, Laura? Yeah? I saw what happened. What I did to your eye. Mm. Yeah. Is it bad? Yeah, it's so pretty dumb. bad. Whatever, dude. I'm so sorry. I mean, I'd be pissed too, honestly. I've lost my eye. I know that wasn't him, but I'm kind of more resigned to him. Not He's not in control. It's not like you could have done anything to stop it from happening. It's not like you're in control. Right? Right. Yeah. You're... You're not in control? Of course not. Fuck. Laura, what are you saying? I'm just trying to make sense of it. That's all. I didn't mean anything by it. Jesus. You said let me in there. Chris! I know they're in there. Who? The townsfolk that didn't show up. How'd you find out? Told me. Said you scrapped an abandoned car. Oh, it was a while back. Dan Aykroyd. I, I, I was saying Dan Aykroyd. Shit. Why? Well, why'd you think, Chris? Jesus, Travis. You're still here. That's fucked up. I fucking bit one of them, Chris. What's I supposed to do? What was that? Bit one of them. Shit. He's a werewolf. You shot me. I'm telling mom. I think your lucky stars wasn't silver. What's your plan? You can't keep him here forever. I'm handling it. Maybe if you'd done your job, they wouldn't have been at the camp that night. You ever think of that? If I'd have done my job, you'd all be in prison. You ever think of that? That was all Bobby and Caleb. And Are you those know hikers? It. That, that, that fucking... Journalist? Damn it, Travis. What are we gonna do now? Whatever happened to we're all in this together? Shit, man. Let's go to my office. We shouldn't talk here. Max! Uh. Max! Uh. What is it? Travis was just in the hall talking, the cop. So? With Chris Hackett. Was he here to let us out? No. He's the werewolf. Mm -hmm. Max. Chris Hackett is the one that bit you down on the storm shelter. Holy shit, that's... Who would have guessed? I mean, I guess, thinking about it, I could have... And yet you didn't. It all makes sense. That's why Chris's car was at the lodge that night. Travis was protecting him. That's why he followed us, and that's why he didn't kill the werewolf in the storm shelter, because it was his fucking brother. God, it's so obvious. If, if Chris was the one that bit me, then... Gotta kill... Yeah, Chris. then that's our cure. But that's Chris, how we fix you. Chris didn't Jesus, Laura, want are we to thinking hurt... the same thing? He didn't want to get those kids hurt, though. He told him to stay inside, so he does Tomorrow, care we're about them. getting out of here. I'm gonna get Travis's gun. And kill Chris Hackett. Hey! Hey! Help her! Laura needs help! Uh, Laura? Uh, Laura, are you okay? God damn it. Get the 
hell's going on? <laughs> Laura! <laughs> Got him. <gasps> Fuck. Oh, I was about to say, you have to take this gun. I think you were really sick. Well, maybe I should consider acting as my major. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> we should go before he wakes yeah. up. Should grab our staff. We need silver ammo. He must have some around here. What is it? I thought I heard someone. Something was here. No, I, I still can. It's coming from behind that door. There's nobody in here. What the fuck? That was... Oh, okay. He makes them. Yeah. What is it? Shotgun shells. He loads them with silver. That's where he was last month, hunting. Well, I guess I won't be needing this anymore. Hey. I just realized something. We're free. <laughs> Not yet, dude. Not until Chris is dead. No, Max. We're not free until Chris Hackett is dead. And it doesn't look like we've got much time. I know, you're right, but let's just take the win for now, huh? We'll celebrate when it's over. We're going straight to Hackett's quarry, and we're ending this. Tonight. And I made my way here, to camp. Left Max at the island, seemed like the best place for him, surrounded by water and all. That's it. That's the story. Don't all jump in at the same time. Wait, the island? Like, like our island, like the one in the lake? Yeah, why? Because Jacob, he, went back there looking for Emma, and he hasn't come back yet. Neither of them has. Oh, shit. Hmm. I'm gonna be honest, they're probably not there. Well, if they were there, they're not there now. What's that supposed to mean? Don't make me spell it out for you. 
I've just come back from there and there's one werewolf and no people. Oh, fuck. All I know is I have to do this. I have to kill Chris Hackett before it's too late. After you saw me at the pool, after I shot Chris, um, I went back to the island expecting Max to be back to normal. But... Even though he's supposed to, well, we'll see. I still want to be calling his name out like that. I think she got bit. I think we're doing a decent job to try to like hide it, but I can tell, yeah, she got bit. So the werewolf I killed can't have been Chris. That wasn't a werewolf. It was Haley Hackett, Chris's daughter. Whatever I shot, that was no girl. Unless, I, I guess, it turned back after I shot it when I went to the island. Wait, so how come Max didn't kill you then? Yep, she got bit. I'm gonna be honest, show the bite. He tried. I got away. I need to end this. I don't blame him for doing this. We don't have much time. Who's this? Oh, this must be the mother. Oh. So this is our new guest. Smell good, don't I? Go on, take a bow. Go on. <laughs> Dumb fucking animal. Call the cops. Like, what they? What are you gonna do? Out in the middle of the boonies. Please let me go. Okay. I didn't mean for How are you gonna call the cops? Please. You're already captured. Please. 
a dumb choice. Oh my god, why aren't you answering me? Oh, 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 is your, is your money that you want? Cause, cause my dad's got money. Like lots of it. Oh, yeah. I mean, not really, but he could get some, probably. Please, <laughs> just let me go, please. I'm so sorry. Oh, jeez. That's too, Bobby. Hey! Hey! Hey, where are you going? Hey! Hey! I think that's is that Tyler. Or saying his name right, boy. Saying Tyler, it's Nick. Looks like a Tyler, but it's Nick. <laughs> My bad. It's always nice to see you. Isn't it fun delving into the past? They're a bad lot, aren't they? Shall we have a look at what you found? The chariot. At the reins of a chariot, we would all feel safer. Taking control, relying on determination to make our choices. Valiant. But in some cases, foolish. Many seek refuge in chariots. But perhaps in some cases, they're not as safe as we think they are. And the same question as always. Will you let me show you more? Um, see more. How was that? You'll be seeing me a few more times before the night's over. I look forward to that, as long as you follow the right path, of course. Where is Chris Hackett? Shut up. What a rude. Guys, she murdered Kaylee. We have been over this. Man. I said shut up. You've done enough talking. Okay, so you talk. Say what you gotta say. Ryan, maybe this is a bit much. I mean, just think about everything that's happened tonight. Hmm. Say you heard a woman. That's what we've been hearing, too. Hold up. You, you said you heard a woman crying when you escaped? Why? What do you know? It's the ghost story he told us about, right, Caitlin? This isn't a ghost story. It's a creature feature. It's really happening, and you're all in it. Your bracelet. I don't know if I've said this already, but, like, the physics, air physics in this game and just physics little things here and there like with the earrings moving around as the characters are moving are really good nice job the studios that worked on this um let's see what are you doing what are you doing i'm trying to help worst They're case really scenario good. this should give you a fighting chance and this will kill them for good 
But what if it's Nick or someone? Like I said, worst case scenario. Quarren, put that fucking thing down before you hurt someone. So, come on. Where does Chris Hackett live? When he's not at camp, I mean. Hmm. I'm gonna do guarded. Well, I'll need to be what mean to her. What makes you think I know that? Uh, you guys are counselors, right? You've spent the last two months here? He's not in the storm shelter. I'm clearly getting nowhere hunting him in the woods. I need a place to start. I think that spooky house behind these woods. Dude! What? Um... We thought about not killing him? I mean, there's gotta be another way, dude. Passionate. Listen, there could be another way. Have you thought about that? I've spent the last month thinking about nothing else. Look, when the sun comes up, I am stuck until the next full moon. So is Max, so is anyone else he's bitten. How is that our problem? Why don't you ask your friends in the woods? Don't forget about Nick, dude. Okay, any clothes are going to spray you two with cold water. Ryan, let's just get out of here. I'm running out of time. If I can't find Chris Hackett, then a lot more people are going to get hurt. I'm going with you. What? what? Uh, yeah, what they said. Say no way this she's going alone. There's no way I'm letting a murdering fugitive like you go anywhere near Chris on your own. Wow, are you flirting with me? What? No. Fine, do whatever you want. What? You saw what happened to Nick. He was bitten. Everything's gonna be fine. That cop car you stole, where is it? Ditched in the lake. Why? It was a stolen cop car. You're gonna have to try and fix the minivan. Get somewhere safe. How long do you have? I don't think an you can fix that minivan, to be honest. With I don't know. It doesn't seem like an exact science. Then we better get going. Are you sure this is the right way? Pretty sure, yeah. Pretty or definitely? What do I look like, a tour guide? Hmm, I don't, I don't think he's even been to this house. Have you actually been there before? I mean, no. Duh. Wait, seriously? I know as much as you do. How well do you know Chris Hackett? Mr. H, pretty well. Like you're pretty sure we're going the right way? When I first came to camp, I was going through some personal shit and Mr. H helped me sort it out. He's a good guy. You don't know him like I do. You don't know him at all. Okay, okay, geez. Teacher's pet. Why are you like this? Hmm. Actually, the same thing. I should ask you the same thing. What do you mean? Why are you really here? I can't let you just shoot him. I'm not going to. I'm going to shoot a werewolf, which he definitely is, by is the way. Is not. Is too. It's not. Jesus. There it is. Your house. 
So he lives in some redneck mansion with his redneck family in the ass crack of the woods? Look at this place. No, but it's where his mom lives, I think. Never been there, but if we're looking for answers, it's probably the best place to start. So, uh, wait, how do we get there? What do you mean? How do we get to the house? That's a really good question. Maybe we just don't. Ah, uh, come on, Ryan. Yeah, he's your friend, but still. Look, I understand Chris is your friend. If there was another way, I'd tell you. Sure. Yeah. Laura. Chris is a good man. This isn't about good and evil, Ryan. Just how can you be so certain? If I let my conscience slow me down now, everything gets a lot worse for everyone. Believe me, if there's another way, I'm all for it. Hey, where are you going? You're on a timer, remember? There must be another way across somewhere. I got you. Oh, oh, shit. Shit. <laughs> Oh, okay. Water. Holy shit! Are you okay? Laura? It stalks your breath, but shuns clear water. Oh my god, Laura. Oh, she Jesus. healed. Mary and jazz hands. Her eye must have healed too. I don't see the scar. Here's a thought. What are you doing? Relax. Look. Oh, her eyes are yellow though. Yeah. He's starting to transform too. What big eyes you have, Grandma? No shit. That's actually pretty cool. Can you see yellow <laughs> in my eyes? Hey, why don't you just bite? Yellow? Uh, we haven't got much time. Bite old buddy. Um. Right, the other guy that brought, uh, got it, lost his hand. Get his hand back and then try to cure him. Why not? These must have been from the quarry days. No duh. No one's been down here for years. Okay, so... I don't know if there's a card down here. I can go over there real quick to see if there's anything for us to get. There is something over there. This must be part of the old working quarry. Makes sense. Type bastard just did it say type bastard didn't want to pay them. Get up those stairs. Did you hear that too? It's her. Who? The hag of Hackett's quarry. It's like she's warning us off. Or guiding us. Oh, shit. I think anyone heard 
heard that? No, they can't have done. This place is not up to code. I mean, if the code is literally crumbling to the ground, then I think it's doing fine. Let's just keep Her eyes aren't yeah. yellow anymore. Careful. Lovers. Lovers, there's harmony and disagreement brought to the light only by sparks of passion. Blood flows from the heart. You can almost taste it. Tasting it could save someone's life. Okay. Just look at this place. Scarred Actual. flesh. A lump of what appears to be damaged or scarred flesh. Maybe something is in here with us. You want to eat Either it? Either that or this route isn't as disused as we thought. cave out <laughs> look who's what? finding their funny bone so what's your deal then what do you mean the whole mysterious brooding loner thing it doesn't quite fit with the I love my camp leader vibe so I don't fit into the right box is that what you're saying Hmm. Hmm. Be patient. But what, what box are you talking about? And what box would that be? Nothing. Forget it. Do you always do that? Do what? Uh, start to engage in a conversation and then just immediately recoil into your shell. Maybe I don't want to talk to you anymore. Oh, wow. Charming. I am assuming you're single. Yeah. Why? No reason. I like to share your feelings, man. This way. I see a light. Yeah. Or you can just hang out here. Up to you. Someone's been eating their spinach. So, you want to go into the collapsing nightmare tunnel first, or shall I? Promising. Um, I don't think 
there's anything in here for us to like get What's over there nothing nope nothing Careful. Splinters. Thanks. I'm fine. Guess we found the party. Alcohol. From Prohibition. These are rum running tunnels. That would make that liquor almost a hundred years old. Probably still good. Good. Try vintage. That moonshine? Oh, the hackets were bootleggers. That makes sense. I guess when the quarries are down, they branched out. Come on, time travel later. Moonshine is disgusting. To me, anyway. I mean, you think this is it? Uh, beach me. I'm pretty much completely lost. <sighs> yeah, me too. Shall we? when she got chased by old buddy uh that's kind of my bad had a bit of a tumble with one of the locals the fuck caitlin this place is wrecked <laughs> well you should see the other guy what do you think happened to jacob and emma probably nothing hopefully i mean, I mean should we go find them warn them i think the safest thing the most responsible thing is to try and get help right and then we can come back for them and Nick. And Nick. Oh, Wait. Emma's in there. What? Is there, She's is there doing. something in there? I don't know. What is it? I... Jacob? Emma? Are they... Should I open it up? Your funeral, buddy. I did have bear mace though. And I thought it's not mace. Oh. What? Air freshener. Oh. Yeah. It's all I could find in the van. <laughs> uh. Dylan, <laughs> you're uh So she was in the police station this whole time? Insane, right? This whole time we were having such a fun summer. We never knew. Jeez. <laughs> okay. So the engine's completely screwed. Yep. More great news. I mean, if I could summon a working car out of thin air, I would. Wait, maybe I can. 
Okay, she's gone nuts. There's a scrapyard up the road. If we're looking for a vehicle, maybe there's one there? That sounds like a long shot. Dude, come on. Dylan, come on. Look, I need you. We need you. Fine. Okay. Once again, Dylan puts himself in mortal danger for the sake of his work friends. What exactly are we supposed to do? I mean, the van is nice, but it's not exactly Fort Knox. Well, there's a shelter under the lodge. You could be safe there for a while. All right. Abby, you're with me. Good luck. What was that? Huh? What was that? He's out of the. Oh, well, obviously he's out we of the got, cell. We got but... guests downstairs. We don't want any more blood on our hands. I guess he radioed in, to like, hey, let me out of the cell. Keep it down. You keep it down. Shh. Come on. Oh, is that Emperor? Emperor, authority, paternity, structures designed to topple. No, how the mighty may fall and their empires with them. Let them bleed, let them rip each other apart, let them rot. Okay, I want to see. Actually, let me go back, get out of the room. There's another card here. All right, Empress. Empress, look at her. Those at the top can fall. The hardest. Such a shame to nurture little monsters only to live long enough to watch them kill you. But it's no less than she deserves. Interesting. Antiquated rum still likely from the Prohibition days, a relic of the Hackett's family past. This is an old still. I guess business was booming. Okay. Hey, it's Ryan. Jesus, what happened to you? What's she doing? Oh, wait. Wait, Ryan, don't. Jeez, man.
No, don't open a cage. Hey. Please, electric, electric right? Yeah. It's electrified. Okay, um, there's a box in the corner of the room. I think that's how they're operated, okay? I saw this old guy, under dude from the woods. He used that. Why are you here, Travis? You ought to be out with the others. Like I say, we've been all night long trying to keep those kids safe. Uh, <clears throat> it's Kaylee. She's dead. No. The boys are bringing her in right now. Now I know you got to screw loose in that cop head of yours. There ain't no way to kill her in her kind of condition. Silver bullet. She's dead, Ma. No. Yep. No, 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 not my granddaughter, not my only granddaughter, not my Kaylee, not my little Kaylee, not my little Kaylee, not my little Kaylee, you goddamn piece of shit, not my little Kaylee, God damn you, what did you do to her? Did you get bitten? Is she crazy? What? What's she doing? Oh, she's trying to. Yeah, okay. Good. It's him. Think about it. Why would they lock him in a cage? And who the hell is it? Who the hell is she? She's in charge. You've already got it wrong once. It might even be Nick. Your friend? Hey, listen. Okay. They said that they've already got two of us accounted for. Whatever that means. Whoever this is, they're they're not going anywhere. Remember? We've got to be sure. You promised. That is Nick. Brian, Brian, you gotta get me out of here. Okay, seriously, man. They took it. They took it. You fucking idiot. Ma. God damn it! You fucking piece of shit. Jeez, he's foul. Get now. away! Get away from me! They're close. Um, I gotta help Jacob though. Okay, okay, okay. Talk me through it. Okay, so all I know is you have to open my door and that door, and definitely not that door. Oh, cool. Thanks, detective. Okay, fuck you, man. I'm trying to help. <laughs> no, fuck you. I'm trying to... Shut up. Shut up. Okay, there's a console on the wall over there, like a box or whatever. You should be able to use those switches to isolate each cage. Okay. Hang tight. Okay. Come on. It's a puzzle. Seven, five, three, threes and a right. <laughs> Seven, the wolf. Seven, five, three. Lock. Seven, five, three. Seven is the most. I will unlock the wolf's cage. Three. So we got to add these together to then they'll equal the, how much the cage is. Jacob's cage is three, so. One and two will equal three, so I'll open his cage, right? Yeah, okay. Hey, hold on, not just the middle one, dude. Don't fuck this up. So five was the middle one. I can do this, I can do this. That focus, says abandoned dude, like right in the middle of the puzzle. That's messed up. Okay, five was the middle one, so it's probably uh, two and three then.
Hell yeah. Oh, damn. You look awful. Thanks. Hell. Where's everyone else? Um, Jake. Emma wasn't with them. I don't know where she is. But you should go catch up with them. Be careful. We came into the mines. I don't I don't know if there's a way back up. Not my God, not, not my only granddaughter. Not my Kaylee. Not my little Kaylee. What? So you you had those motherfucking counselors in your goddamn jail for two whole motherfucking months, right? And you are telling me now that instead of putting a bullet into each one of their little sorry shit-stained brains, you, you gave them your silver bullet gun and they shot my Kaylee with it? Is that what you're telling me now, Travis? No more blood on your hands. That's what you, you, you said it. God, oh my God, we are way past that now. Oh, Ma, what, what if it had been me or, or, or Bobby? What then? She was your family. A good boy protects his family. A good boy. You ain't no good boy. I wish I could take it all back. I wish I could take it all back, but I can't. Well, I just don't, I, I don't understand why you, you, you couldn't have just taken care of the problem when you had the chance. Taking care of the problem? Do you hear yourself? Yes, I hear my goddamn self. I may be old, but I ain't deaf. I'm a police officer! Oh, so now I'm blind, you motherfucker. Now I'm blind. Oh, you just flashing that badge around like it's worth a million dollars. The only reason you got it is because Hank got killed in the gypsy fire. Ma. Don't ma. Don't ma me. Would you sit down, please? Don't you tell me what to do. Hank, please. And don't you go around. So Hank don't was you the... go around like you better than everybody else, because you ain't. Would you please sit down? Don't you tell me what to do, you piece of shit. Hank was the one that badge yeah, that we found that was burnt up. Ma, send Bobby down. I don't see it was an overpowered. Well, he's on a ladder, but still. I would have immediately just used that gun and just shot it. That's just me. What's happening? Such a weird montage for the environments. It's weird. That was like unnecessary. Welcome back. Did you miss me? Hopefully, you've brought me some more of my cards. Let's have a look, shall we? The Empress. Look at her. <laughs> Those at the top can fall the hardest. Such a shame to nurture little monsters only to live long enough to watch them kill you. <laughs> but it's no less than she deserves. The lovers. There's harmony and disagreement brought to light only by sparks of passion. Blood flows from the heart. You can almost taste it. And tasting it could save someone's life. Ma. 
the Emperor. Authority, paternity, strictures designed to topple, no? Mm -hmm. How the mighty may fall and their empires with them. Let them bleed. Let them rip each other apart. Let them rot. <laughs> Details. Sure. Then choose the possible future you'd like to witness. And watch carefully. Try and find some clarity in the chaos. I don't want to do the Emperor. That says. Shows, I mean. Go. You've still got time. Be careful now. Be very careful. Wow. 